Hi folks, I'm Roger from Offgrid, and in this uh, brief episode, I'm going to take you through a little bit of uh, lessons that we've learned around the fitting of these acrylic brackets onto a motorhome roof or solar panels. The biggest problem is that if you look at most of these, they look like they've got some sort of striated um, surface, but it's pretty smooth. In fact, it's very, very smooth. And uh, the way you prep these is really important if you want the panel to sit properly. These panels are, or these brackets rather, are not our favorite because they occupy so much space. And uh, invariably when we fit solar panels, we, we have such limited space. And why would you sacrifice a whole lot of space just for the brackets when the panel can occupy that space and get more solar yield? So, not our favorite brackets, but uh, this is what's on the roof. So <clears throat> we are needing to move this panel back so we can fit a maxi fan over there. And uh, I've undone the, the panel from the, the brackets. But um, I started looking at how easy it would be to put a piano wire underneath and lift these off. Uh, but actually, what I've discovered is that they are pretty easy to come off. So when you do this, uh, use a chisel because you can get the sharp point in, or if you've got something else that's similar, you can use that. But we use a chisel really carefully. But what is really, really important here is that you do not lift this up in such a way that you delaminate the roof. So you've got to know how much force you can exert before there's a problem here. So what I do is I place that there, get the chisel underneath, and just give it a little bit of a test. And you see it's come off actually pretty easily. Lots of water and damp under there. You can see the psychoflex is still on the roof because I think they roughed this up a little bit. Uh, but this smooth, smooth surface, and as you can see, with minimal effort, I lifted that up. And uh, I, I don't think there was much danger that the panel would come off. But if it was me, I'd be uncomfortable with the ease with which I lifted this. When we put a panel down with uh, aluminium brackets with psychoflex, uh, double five two is what Psychoflex recommend. Five double two is also really good. When we put them down, <clears throat> there is absolutely no way you can put a chisel under that and lift it. You would definitely delaminate the roof before something came off. But the ease with which this has popped off the Psychoflex is actually quite concerning. So, what do you do about it? Follow me, I'll show you. Right, so the problem, as I mentioned, is this is really, really smooth. And to get this to bond properly, you've, you need to roughen it up quite a little bit or quite a lot. There are essentially two ways to do it. The one is you can use some really rough sandpaper. This is really rough stuff. If you do that a little bit, and then you have a look, that surface is totally rough. This is totally smooth to the touch. This is totally rough. And this Psychoflex will bond to this really well. The other way is you use a, a, a wire brush, but you need strong bristles, not bendy bristles. And you can just do that, do little circles like that. And again, it's no longer smooth. But of the two, this definitely is the better way of doing it. So we often use this on the underside of um, aluminium brackets. We go one way and then 90 degrees to, you know, compared to the first way we went. And that uh, creates a really nice surface on aluminium. I'll show you in a moment. But with these, I think sandpaper is just easier. And like I'm saying, just little round, little round circles like that. And this amount of surface area, if it's done properly, is pretty good. I personally don't think you need to bother with this. You can put a little bit if you want to. Just a bit. But really, this is doing all of the work for you. And this is going to, the Cyclefix is going to stick on this real, real good. So these are the aluminium brackets we use quite a lot. They, they are really simple, um, very cost effective, and uh, they allow us to put the bracket under the panel so that we use the least amount of surface area as possible. The aero brackets are really great, but they use another uh, seven centimeters on either side of the panel. So 14 centimeters is used just for the brackets. So no solar yield from that, that's space that you could have used for solar yield. 
Uh, those acrylic brackets, again, they use quite a big chunk of the roof that uh, you do, can't use for solar yield. These allow us to use almost the entire panel in, in a, a space within a few millimeters of the um, edge of the space. And what we do with these to make sure that the side deck sticks really well, we do this one first. And then we come 90 degrees. I don't, I don't know if you can see it in the, uh, but this is really rough now compared to this. We're totally smooth and nice and rough. So the Cyclopex will really stick on here. Won't peel off at all. So just to close, really important that all the surfaces that you will put the Cyclopex onto are roughened up. This, the same goes for the actual roof. So it's no use having a really smooth roof and then uh, putting Cyclopex on that because it could lift off just in the way you saw me Leave this off. If, if we put the Cyclopex on here now and left the roof smooth, then the Cyclopex would have just peeled off the roof probably. And uh, that, that's no good. So really important to scuff both of the surfaces that the Cyclopex will be onto. And uh, yeah, we're ready to go to put these on now.